uh, do some problems. So, a lot of y'all have me. I like to do a lot of problems, but don't don't just memorize problems. Right? <laughs> Step back and say, okay, what what did that problem teach us? So that I can tackle a problem that is different, but I can use the same thought process. Okay. Particle travels along a straight line with a uh, velocity of 0.5 t cubed minus 8 t. Determine the acceleration after two seconds. So you're given velocity. You want to find acceleration. Uh, so my first thought is, uh, is that a derivative or an integral? Right? If, should I take the derivative of this or should I take an integral of this? If I'm given velocity and ask to deter determine the acceleration, that's a derivative, right? Uh, which derivative? I mean, it's on here, but it's, we just take the derivative with respect to time. Acceleration is dv dt. So what is the derivative of 0.5 t cubed minus 8 t right there? So don't make easy mistakes, right? Derivative, bring the coefficient out front and subtract. That 3 becomes a 2, right? So 3 times 0.5. 1.5 t squared um, minus 8. Right, where are we? Yeah, 1.5 t squared minus eight. So, so that's my equation for acceleration. And let me answer the question now. After t is equal to two, plug in t is equal to two, negative two meters per second squared. All right, we, we could talk about units here. Our units will work out. Um, the numerator velocity has units of meters per second. And it's almost like you are dividing it by a time. Uh, so meters per second and then divided by another second. So meters per second squared. Um, if it's negative, leave it negative. Box in your answers. Get, you know, give it to me like this. Um, show me how smart you are, right? Okay. 